moly. I need a flight plan to drive to the airport this morning. I can barely see that car in front of me and it's not more than 200 feet. Wow, there's holy moly. This is that part of the journey where I start asking myself, what the heck was I thinking? I should have just bought an airplane that was already done and not had to deal with all this stuff. But yet, we press on. Taking this gas tank off four times now. And this time, here, I need some holy water. Pastor, Pastor Jimmy will be proud. Let's see, we got Mountain Dew, because it's the nectar that flows from on high, Mount Zion, the home of God. It is the living water, if you will. And so we christen the blessed, no more funkiness out of you fuel tanks. There we go. Ah. And then I just got a call from the Magneto shop and they have a, um, a service bulletin on these. So the left mag absolutely is gonna get overhauled at minimum, but like I said, still trying to talk about those Surefly. And then the right one, it's got the same service bulletin, so that one needs to be overhauled as well. So it's $715 for that one, 750 bucks for this one. <sighs> Told you every time I come here, it's another two grand. And now I gotta start paying and scrounging up some money out of the, uh, the coffee jars. Time to get rid of all the old avionics. Selling all of it, what I know works, I'm gonna sell it as working when removed, what I I have no idea if it works or not. It's just parts for whatever you can, if you want to use it for display, practicing, whatever. So uh, yeah, all that going on eBay and some of the other places. Got to scrounge up some pennies. Now here's a kicker for you. My KX-155, this one, that was burned and whenever you would turn it on, uh, it would smell smoky and stuff like that and it wouldn't turn on real well. So. I thought it was totally trashed and done and just, you know, bookshelf item. Well, I bought the other one. It had the glide slope and everything else in it. And I thought, you know what, just for the heck of it, I gave it to the guy. He said, hey, I, got, I know a guy that can fix these things. Let me see if he can look at it and see if he can get it fixed. Well, guess what? 250 bucks got it fixed. And $100 of that was a brand new screen to put on there. Apparently, it was just a uh, burned capacitor and he was able to pop it in, fix it up, tested it, works perfect. So I have two KX-155s. What the heck am I gonna do with two of them? I put it up on eBay. Well, time to try to get back some of this money that I'm burning. Whew. Here we go. These gas tanks are gonna be the death of me. At least the gas gauges. <sighs> Just put this one in for the fourth time. Now, thankfully, I didn't put any of the screws in. Mm -hmm. Put gas in it, put over 20 gallons in it, and the gas gauge now reads 10 gallons instead of empty. So we're making progress. Blame. <sighs> That makes me feel better. Yeah. Hey, this is Jimmy World. Hit that subscribe, that like, and continue this journey while we don't smell aviation fuel.